Welcome to Nature Therapy Online. Hello there folks and welcome to another episode of Nature Therapy Online. I'm Stephen McCabe and I'm an ecotherapist living in Scotland in the Midlothian area and this podcast is all about connecting with nature for our well-being and for the good of our mental health and and for for the good of the environment as well because that's often a uh, you know a beautiful thing that happens when we bond with nature we want to we, we want to care for it as well so everybody wins we win and nature wins and right now I'm walk into a place that feels quite special to me. I'm with my dog, Yoro. He's behind me. Um, I'm in the little village of Temple where I live. It's called Temple. It's in Midlothian. It's quite nice today because the snow is finally beginning to go. I think I've said that several times now, but we're into February, so I think this is it now. There's still a lot of patches and frost, but I wanted to come to this place that I come with Yoro several times a week. It's got a really magical vibe to me. It feels really special. So there's a big uh, field where they grow wheat and just behind some some wire there's a little f wired off wooded area and it's only quite small and there's a road in front of us so you come past the wheat field into this wooded area where I've just come now and we're stood at the top of the hill on this wooded area and looking down an embankment onto the road into the village and I don't know what it is quite about this space that feels special to me I guess there's a few things about it and the more I pay attention the more I realize that there's so many unique things about it and the reason that I wanted to do a podcast here today and on this theme is because I want to invite you to find and connect with a place that feels special to you you know there might be places that you walk really regularly or places you haven't been for a while that have a special meaning for you or you just feel at peace when you're there or you feel in awe when you're there and i want you to visit that place sometime this week and pay really close attention. Think, what is it about this place? What feels so right about this place for me? And I want to talk you through some of the things here. So in this little wooded area, first of all, what I love about it is that it's been reclaimed for young children as a forest school. There's a small nursery nearby pre-primary school so the kids are toddlers basically and I think it's so lovely that they've made these little wooded huts purely out of sticks and branches and inside one of them kind of a little sort of tent style huts they've they've created there's a tiny desk so I really like that forest schools are becoming a thing again for young people. I think it's so important for children. How magic to be out here and to learn and I look in those places and it sets my imagination soaring and I think wow it's such a such, it must be such a great thing to be a, a, a child and to be learning in there. Your shelter is pure natural materials but but it's not only that, I mean, I like this aspect of it. So I can say that 
it catches my imagination. But there's another thing, and I'm coming up to it now, a really simple thing. There's a huge rock here on its own. I'm going to slap this rock so you can hear it. It's this huge, sturdy thing, probably millions of years old, probably. And this also captures my imagination. I walk through this wooded area and I always feel the need just to lean down and to touch it on the way past. Just give it a little touch. It feels like a, like I'm practicing some, some mythical code, a rock that must be touched on the way in. And that might sound strange to you or maybe it doesn't. I hope, I hope it doesn't. <laughs> but I think the more that I've connected with nature over the last four years, because up until around four years ago, I wasn't connected with nature at all. Not in my adult life anyway. But one thing that I have started to appreciate is the type of things that I would do as a child and maybe... Maybe you would do as the child, but haven't done for a while either. Like going into a special place and feeling like it's important to touch a particular tree or sit down in a particular spot for a moment. Like it almost has some mythical meaning. And I think we should pay attention to those urges and those almost uh, those desires that we have sometimes that don't seem to make any sense. Because there's something about touching this huge rock that's amongst all of these, all of these gorgeous uh, pine trees in here. And I think hazel, I think, are the smaller trees. There's something about doing that that feels really respectful to this place. It's almost like this is the rock at the entrance and in my mind, uh, I am entering this special zone. Um, by touching the rock, I'm acknowledging to myself I'm in, a, I'm in a place of nature right now. So I guess imagination is another part, but also maybe that touches on themes of, of ritual. And, and, you know, ritual doesn't need to be something huge and elaborate and something that we do with costumes or, and at a special time and a special place, although it can be all of those things, but it can be as simple as walking in a place that you love and just having a, your own little routine with it and respecting it and thinking not everything I do needs to make logical sense. Because sometimes when we bond with nature, certain things don't make logical sense, but they make emotional sense so that's another thing I love about my special place and, and the reason I'm telling you these things is I guess to give you some ideas when you go and, and, and visit your, 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 your special place yourself this week and maybe some of the things that I do might inspire the things that you look out for or the things that you um, you know perhaps engage with and realize yeah this is why I like being here so much or maybe it's completely different things for you. One thing that it isn't for me, I suppose, and might be for a lot of people, is um, a place with a lot of memories because I've not lived here very long. Um, so it's not a place for me where I have a lot of, say, childhood memories, but very often special places do. You know, they might be places we went as children or as younger adults or when we were young and in love with somebody, or old and in love with somebody even. And that's important to get in tune with. With also. But I think this, what I'm about to share with you now, is the thing that I love the most about this, this place, this wooded area. It might sound a bit ironic because you can probably hear a car approaching here and in this small village, um, you know, compared with the city anyway, you don't get so many cars passing through. But this is like the main road into the village where this wooded area comes. And 
I like to stand up here looking down on the road. I like to see this this entrance to the village and all of this, you know. Not that there's an awful lot of traffic, but the traffic that does come just passing through and reflecting on me being up here in nature and all and these people down there completely oblivious to the fact that I'm watching them going about their daily lives, they're probably listening to some music in the car or maybe they're on a hands-free phone call or something. The, yeah, this sense of, of being able to watch. This sense of being high up and, 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 and I guess safe and, and hidden. I think it's, there's something for me nice about feeling, feeling like I'm not on display, you know, with lots of people walking around. And I think that that's such a, a, an important thing with nature as well sometimes, you know. We always think that privacy is something that, is achieved only by going home and closing our doors and hiding ourselves from the world but the most beautiful kind of aloneness rather than loneliness i think is being out in nature because sometimes we class aloneness as something human related only You know, sometimes when people come to visit my house, they look over the back garden and they say, wow, there's nothing there. Because it's the first place I've ever lived that isn't, you know, completely surrounded by buildings and flats and houses and, and whatever, you know, it's, it's, it's fields and trees. And I love it. But when people say there's nothing there and they say it in a nice way, like they're like, wow, isn't that a nice view? I think there's so much there, you know, I can see all those trees, I can hear a river, I, you know. There's little animals and rabbits scurrying about, there's plenty here, there's just not people. And I think that's what I like about this place also, you know, standing high up, looking at the cars going by or maybe people walking past occasionally on the way in and out. And me feeling connected to everything, but without having to without having to entertain and without having to be the center of anything, just being a part of it all. I feel like standing up here and watching everything. I'm, a, I'm like one of these trees here, you know? So, there are a few things I wanted to share with you about my special place or one of my many special places and I'd like you, as I say, to go and go and give that a try. Maybe make some notes. You know, don't just visit a place that you love to visit. Really stop and pay attention and notice what's happening in your body. Notice when you're drawn to something or you have a realization how your body feels. What's your body telling you about the experience you're having? So that's me. I'm going to wrap up today's little podcast oh i've just seen a little wren had to share that with you folks a tiny little wren hopping about here too cute um so yeah i'm gonna close up gonna head back to the tiny village on this misty frosty day past the little wren who's looking very upset about me disturbing its peace i'm sorry i'm sorry little 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 fella a little lady, whoever you happen to be. And, um, and yeah. Before I head off, I'll just say if you're interested in, in signing up to a, a nature therapy programme and working with me online to connect with your local landscape and connect more deeply with your local nature, you can find out everything I'm doing at naturetherapyonline.net. And I'm also on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash nature therapy online and um, yeah you can perhaps support me monthly with a little donation and get some access to our regular 
nature chat groups, really lovely little community that we do. Um, you'd be very welcome. So, so I'm going to leave the plugs there for today, folks, and let you get on with your day. And thanks a lot for tuning in and enjoy nature this week. So take care for now. Smiles from Scotland. Bye bye. Visit me online at naturetherapyonline.net.